Syria's deputy prime minister says in an interview with a British newspaper published today that the conflict in his country is deadlocked and that neither government nor opposition could currently win the struggle outright. He added that the Syrian government will be calling for a ceasefire when a second round of peace talks is convened in Geneva. But for now, talking is only going on at the UN. Now the test guns. The Security Council must be prepared to act next week. It is vital for the international community to stand up and speak out in the strongest possible terms about the importance of enforceable action to rid the world of Syria's chemical weapons. The UN's Permanent Security Council ambassadors have met to find a way to drive talks forward, which the Syrian opposition have continually boycotted. They say Bashar al-Assad's resignation is a precondition for talks. At the same time, Russia is expressing doubts that Syria will completely fulfill all the terms for its surrender of chemical weapons. Although President Putin said on Friday, all the early signs were good that there would be compliance.